So I don't remember buying this shoe right here. I remember seeing it and wishing that I did, but uh, this is one that I got sent to the house and I was like, wait, what is, what is happening? I think this was a couple months after the original release, but we have the Nike Airship PEs as it says right here in the little booklet. And this I believe was sent over from Ama Manier, which is kind of dope. I've never got anything from them. I have all of the other Jordans that I know that released the ones twos, threes, fours, and both colorways of the 12s. Uh, the ships is the only one I don't have. And of course they had the blue colorway that was limited uh, in nature. And then they had this one that dropped. And I think a lot of people were kind of upset that they sold out so quickly, but it seems like more of them ended up releasing, which mine probably came from that second wave. Now all of a sudden I think people are a little bit more cool on them, even though it is a really nice pair of sneakers. And one that in hand, I was like, dude, they, they really did a, a killer job on these. So uh, first things first, thank you again to whoever sent these over. Much, much appreciated. I tried reaching out on IG, but if you did send these over, reach out to me and let me know. I just want to say thank you. But I tried to lace these up and I used two of the three laces that they came with. They came with a, like a cream pair and then they have a pair with like the age look to them which I think looks really nice and then you also have the black ones and but honestly which laces do you guys like the best the regular pair the aged pair or the black pair I actually think I like the black pair the best I was really surprised when I put them on I didn't think they would actually go as well I thought it would be too much but uh, it adds a nice little accent to the shoes the materials on here are pretty decent you see some uh, trimming around the leather and it does have some aged appeal around that as well and then you do have a nice like a uh, new buck around the collar of the shoe as well as the swoosh. It does say Nike Air uh, on one shoe and then it does say the A on the other for Ama Manier. Also on the tongue, it does say Nike Air and Ama Manier on both of the shoes. And then on the insole, it's a nice detail. It's actually embroidered down there and it has a Jumpman and it says 365. You do also have the size of the shoe up on the collar, 9.5, which is true to like what they did back in the day with this model. And for those people that don't know the history behind the Airship model, it's actually the one before the Air Jordan 1s. So Jordan actually wore the Airships before he wore the Jordan 1s. That fabled story of the banned Air Jordan 1s uh, in the bread colorway, those were actually not the breads. The shoes that were actually banned were the airships instead. And MJ23 Dan is somebody that was really uh, gunning to get the airships brought back in the true form and they actually ended up happening years and years later. So kudos to MJ. So the history behind the airships is really, really deep. It's something that happened before uh, Jordan was wearing the uh, infamous Air Jordan 1s with his first signature model with Nike. Jordan actually wore Converse and Adidas and stuff before uh, he had the uh, the Nikes on as well. So there's a lot of other sneakers that he wore beforehand, but uh, this is one of the ones that I think was lost in translation through all of these years. And this colorway is a really nice representation of that model. You have the vintage midsole and the outsole as well. So sometimes the older models actually have like a powdery look to the bottoms like these. And Nike had some retros that they released previously that had this sort of uh, effect to it as well. Well, but I like to see it every now and then. Yes, it's probably been overdone to this point, but I think they did a good job in the way they presented the aging look to this model and it's appropriate to the model itself. You have that nylon tongue similar to like the Air Jordan 1s and overall it does look very similar to an Air Jordan 1 as well. One of the things that I noticed is a little bit different and I don't know if this is true to the originals or not. I assume so, but I didn't know. Uh, down here where the laces come together, if you pull this part apart, you can actually see some stretchy um, material down here that kind of helped the shoe stretch. Something I did not know was underneath there. So kind of cool uh, that that was there. But taking it back a step here, the box is super awesome as well. It has like Diembaugh's logos all over the A's on the box underneath the Nike. And then it does say Jordan Airship PESP. And so it's like the special edition player edition, but I like the, the box. It looks really nice. And just the, the Boz or Dean Boz look on there is rad. Again, all the extra lace is a huge plus as well. And then a mom paper on here to make it premium, just like we've seen from all of the other products and stuff. They definitely really nailed a lot of the color blockings and just the overall delivery of a lot of the products that they've like released. But my favorite part about this is not just the shoes. It's the fact that there's always a hidden message, something deeper behind the product. And this one specifically was like dubbed understand the why. So Emma Manier as a brand has 12 essential values. Combined, they form the manifesto to consistency and progress. They anchor their team, their work, and their culture. Understand the why is the first value. For the fearless, brave, and daring, standing for what you believe in at all times, fueled by the passion, for culture and community. It represents what often we were told and repeated could not be done. A testament to courage in the face of doubt and adversity. This is why believing in the space created for us by us where opportunity and preparation meets heart and hustle. And this information I found on their Instagram post, there was like one of them out of like a dozen that had that much detail. And sometimes it's worth just searching around Instagram on their Instagram specifically and finding the gems that they leave out there for us because uh, otherwise it's kind of a story untold. You get the product, you're like, cool, I got 
you know, one of their release collaborations and stuff, and that's pretty much it. But the fact that there's a little bit more deeper meaning behind it is always a huge plus, and I like the fact that they've uh, done that consistently through all of their releases. I think this colorway looks really good on feet. Leave a comment in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree. I think that the airship itself probably doesn't get the love that it deserves. However, it's tough, man. There's a lot of competition out there. So I understand if you're gonna get this or you're gonna get the Jordan 1, the Jordan 1s are like more iconic, more noticeable. Jordan 4s are obviously really trending as well. The, the Amon Manier Air Jordan 3s are my favorite out of all the ones they released, but the 2s are no joke as well. Those ones are really good also. So, so the fact that they've released all of the different models in the Amon Manier so far, I'm really excited for the 5s as well. I absolutely love the Air Jordan 5 models. So it's not the most sought after comparison to like the 3s and the 4s, but it's a nice one and one that I'm definitely wanting to check out once those drop. But appreciate whoever sent these over. Again, thank you so much. If you guys like the video, drop a like. Much appreciated when you guys do something like that. And hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more content soon. All right, peace guys.